Ask Reddit by unhappy tumbleweed 966. What would you do with an extra $1,900 a month? Build a safety net. I doubt I would go on a major spending spree but would relax a lot more. I would definitely stop always volunteering to work overtime to make ends meet. Deleted. Live the dream of being able to put my bills on auto pay and not have to worry about what I really don't need this week from the grocery store. I'd pay off my credit card debt, and then this 100%. Move into my own apartment without roommates. Fuck the new apartment. I'm staying in my current apartment and saving up $1,900 a month until I can afford a down payment on a house. Then I move into my own house. Breathe easier. Febreze. Retirement. Fund. I can already live with what I have, another $22,800 today put away for an extended period of time means you'll get to live part of your life not working. This was my first thought. VTSAX all the way. Waste it on heat, lights, food, etc. What a waste. $1,900 a month is everything I need tbh, in my country salaries are like from $350 to $600 average. Same $1,900 a month here in Argentina would afford you it's a bedroom home, all bills paid, food, plus money to go out and buy nice things, and probably you'd have $1,000 left to save after that. Savings savings savings. Yep. In a year that's already $22,800. Pay my debt, move out and get an electric bike. May your dreams all come true. Just don't charge it with an extension cord, your dreams may be quickly crushed. Fucking live, for one. That would be a game changer. Edit, thank you for the gold. Yeah my immediate thought was fucking live word for word. Bank it. Boink it. Pay off debts and look for a bigger space for my mom and I she's not in the best of health anymore and I want to make her as comfortable as possible. Pay my bills $1900 between mortgage, power and utilities would cover everything and there'd even be enough to save a little. Wouldn't be glam but wouldn't lose the house either. Damn. I'm paying more than that and rent for a one bed per month, and honestly for my area I'm getting a steal. First, pay off my debt. Then, I would take a much needed solo vacation to wherever. After that, save so it makes me more money. Basically yeah 4 months to pay off my debt. Save up 2 months of it for a 2 week getaway and then save up for a house mortgage. It's wild how what for some people is pocket change, for others could legit change their lives. For some of us it has been both, depending on the decade. Live instead of just surviving. I would buy things I need without feeling guilt for straining the already tight budget. I would replace worn out items before they have been mended so many times they can't be fixed anymore. I would buy clothes that fit and make me feel good instead of whichever is cheapest. I could do so much to better my everyday life. Throw it in a retirement fund. Buy an airline ticket to go see my dad I haven't seen him in 5 years and amp, he's 78 years old now. How far away is dad from you? I don't have much myself but I have some southwest points saved up if that would help. Live my life. Something I can't really do presently. Use it to research why such an odd amount was chosen. I would imagine because that's around the amount that is usually discussed when people are considering universal basic income. In this article, https colon slash slash www dot theguardian dot com slash cities slash two zero one eight slash john slash two seven 
slash benefit dash or dash burton dash the dash cities dash trine dash out dash universal dash basic dash income closed bracket Ontario's program is one thousand nine hundred dollars Canadian though UB is going to become more and more necessary as our advances and automation become more and more prevalent but conservatives have committed their entire being to the idea that anything perceived as handouts are scary communism or something so you can expect that it will be heavily fought against anywhere that has a prominent right wing. Just like most advances in society. But eventually we'll probably overcome them, like we usually do. Edit, also for your information, in the US we could all get $1,900 checks a month, and remain budget neutral, with something like a, 25% flat tax, https colon slash slash, www dot ubisenter.org slash us dash flat dash tax closed bracket and that's about what most of us pay in taxes currently but we don't because that would affect the wealthy much more than the poor i'd love to shelter abandoned pets with 1900 extra a month i could give it a shot does your local shelter have a foster program mine provided all the food litter etc i just provided shelter and cuddles pay off my credit card, car, and college tuition, then buy a new house. Feel content that I don't have to worry so much about finances. Two chicks at the same time. His expression when he delivers that line. Invest it. Be able to afford groceries. Act like I don't get it and put it directly into savings every month, until I could put a down payment on a house anyway. Get all my teeth implanted. In a couple of years get to eat a big juicy steak. More avocado toasts. Save. I'm 16, that would add up very nicely later in life. Is it just me, or is this thread so sad? We all deserve to be able to afford basic things like food, shelter, water, act. That would cover my mortgage and I could afford food. Get a used car, pay off debt, put some in savings, start a vacation savings fund. Grocery shop regularly. I would give some to my youngest sister, but never so much that she'd have to claim it on her taxes. She's a single mother of three and she can't afford to do anything nice for herself. Every spare cent goes toward her children and car maintenance. She lives in the shitty town we grew up in, and she's got an anxiety disorder. She doesn't just take care of her kids, she also takes care of just about everyone around her. She's acknowledged that she probably shouldn't, but she's like me. She can't stand the thought of anyone struggling. Put aside $1,000 and use the $900 to pay for everyday things. It would help me out so much. Delete it. Stress a little less. Rent a nice studio apartment. $600 to savings. $600 into a separate account for down payment on a much needed family vehicle. $500 to retirement, and AMP. $200 extra money for family to have to do more activities or towards vacations. $1875 per month would max out a 401k in 2023. So that plus a couple sandwiches. Start racing in 24 hours of lemons. Travel a lot more. I have bad health issues so, I'd take care of myself better. I'm not unable to do that now but I have to restrict a lot of things in order to do that. I'll have $1,900 to live off of. What do I have to for this extra $1,900? But stuff? Cause then it's like a too fair. This would literally solve all my problems. Finally buy a Starbucks and avocado toast. 
pay my rent and buy groceries so I don't have to steal food. Are you Aladdin or Jean Valjean?